Welcome to another episode of the Kintsugi Moto Podcast, where we embark on a thrilling journey through the captivating world of classic cars and motorcycles. Let's dive into today's topic. What happens to the classic car and motorcycle industry when all of our current mechanics retire? If you watch some of my other videos, you'll notice that a few of my cars require quite a bit of work. Some of it I can do myself, and you'll see the how-to videos when I'm wrenching away. But some of the other work is more time-consuming or beyond my expertise, so I'd rather send those out for somebody else to work on. Well, my 1986 Saab 900 requires a new O-ring for the oil pickup tube, which in this case requires the engine to come out because the bottom of the oil pan happens to be the transmission. I called around to all the local Saab mechanics, and they were turning down this work because they said they're just getting too old to do work that is this intense. They're happy to fix some of the smaller issues, but reluctant to do any major overhauls or full restorations. Classic cars and motorcycles hold a special place in our hearts, embodying a bygone era of awe-inspiring craftsmanship and just jaw-dropping design. But here's the thing. As time goes on, the pool of skilled mechanics who specialize in working on these vintage machines is slowly shrinking. So what does this hold for the classic car and motorcycle industry when all the current mechanics retire? Well, buckle up, my friends, because we're about to find out. First things first, let's address the elephant in the garage. With the retirement of seasoned mechanics, we can expect a shortage of skilled labor to maintain and restore our beloved classic cars and motorcycles. These beauties require specialized knowledge, intricate techniques, and a knack for working with vintage parts that are often no longer in production. The skills these mechanics have acquired through years of experience and hands-on work are simply irreplaceable. But fear not, for where there's a challenge, there's always an opportunity. To tackle this potential labor shortage head-on, it's crucial for the classic car and motorcycle industry to actively promote and encourage younger generations to embrace careers in classic car restoration and maintenance. We need to encourage collaborations between automotive schools and classic car and motorcycle organizations that establish workshops, apprenticeships, and specialized training programs to pass on the knowledge and skills to the next generation. We can ignite a spark of passion in these young minds and ensure that the torch of expertise is carried forward with enthusiasm. We can also lean on technology to help us. We've witnessed jaw-dropping advancements in the automotive industry. Tools like virtual reality and augmented reality have the power to revolutionize the way aspiring mechanics learn about the intricacies of working on classic cars and motorcycles. Imagine stepping into a virtual garage where you can simulate hands-on experience, learn the tricks of the trade, and master those intricate details and techniques with ease. Technology bridges the gap between retiring mechanics and new enthusiasts, ensuring that knowledge is, is accessible to all who seek it. Now, let's talk about the magical word, parts. Over time, certain components become as rare as a unicorn sighting. But the classic car and motorcycle community is a resilient bunch, always finding ways to overcome obstacles. We've seen entrepreneurs specializing in manufacturing the reproduction of parts starting to emerge, which is breathing new life into hard-to-find components. These remarkable individuals and companies cater specifically to our needs, remanufacturing or recreating those elusive parts we desperately desire. And with the advancements in 3D printing, the production of vintage parts is on the brink of a revolution. Imagine being able to manufacture those rare rare components on demand with the ability to recreate intricate designs and replicate parts that were once thought to be lost forever. 3D printing offers a promising solution, reducing our dependence on diminishing stockpiles and ensuring that the wheels of our classic cars and motorcycle restorations keep on turning. But let's not forget about something truly valuable, the overall value of our classic cars and motorcycles. Skilled mechanics not only keep these machines running smoothly, but they also contribute to the authenticity and quality of restoration work. As retiring mechanics take their unique skill sets with them, we may witness a shift in the perception of certain classic car models and classic motorcycles and a reevaluation of market values. But fear not, for this is an opportunity for us to redefine what makes a classic car or motorcycle truly special. The next generation of mechanics may bring a fresh perspective and innovative techniques to the table. While they may not be able to replicate the exact precision and attention to detail of their predecessors, they will undoubtedly leave their own unique mark on the classic car and motorcycle industry. And this is something to be really, really excited about. Beyond the mechanical aspect, we must also consider the impact on the dynamics and culture of the classic car and motorcycle community. Retiring mechanics have often served as mentors, passing down their knowledge, experience, and even the occasional misadvantage adventure to enthusiasts and fellow mechanics alike. They are the keepers of our stories, the bridges between generations, and the soul of our beloved community. So what can we do to ensure that the longevity of the classic car and motorcycle industry continues? It's simple. We need to continue to foster a sense of community and collaboration. 
Existing mechanics nearing retirement have an invaluable role to play in mentoring aspiring mechanics and sharing their wealth of knowledge. Through partnerships between experienced mechanics and younger enthusiasts, we create opportunities for hands-on learning, apprenticeships, and the preservation of valuable expertise. And as enthusiasts ourselves, we can actively contribute to the preservation and sharing of knowledge. Classic car and motorcycle organizations and individuals like you and me can document and archive information related to classic cars and motorcycle restoration, creating comprehensive guides, manuals, and online resources. By doing so, we ensure that the necessary information is readily available for future generations paving the way for a thriving classic car and motorcycle community. So in conclusion, while the retirement of current mechanics may present challenges, the future of our hobby is bright and filled with opportunity through education, technological advancements, collaboration, and the preservation of knowledge, we can ensure that the artistry, craftsmanship, and pure joy of classic car and motorcycles continue to thrive for generations to come. So get out there, attend car shows, attend motorcycle shows, join clubs and organizations, and connect with like-minded individuals who share your passion. Immerse yourself in this incredible community, learn from experienced mechanics, and, most importantly, share your knowledge and experiences. Together, we have the power to shape the future of the classic car and motorcycle hobby. Thank you all for joining me on this latest episode of the Kintsugi Moto Podcast. I hope you found our exploration of what happens when all the current mechanics retire both enlightening and uplifting. If you have any questions or thoughts on today's topic, please feel free to comment below. And also, hit the subscribe button to get notified of the next episode. And until we meet again, keep the rusty side up and the leaky side down.